Welcome back. September is Ovarian Cancer Awareness Month. Women who are diagnosed with the disease often feel chemotherapy is their only choice when it comes to treatment, but it's not. New research finds botanical extracts are as successful as well. And here to talk about that option is Sylvie Beljansky, Vice President of Beljansky Foundation, and Dr. John Hall, the Foundation's Senior Scientific Advisor. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. Thank now, you. just to be clear, it's not just the botanical extracts, right? It's those extracts coupled with chemotherapy. Yes. That's right. Uh, one of the key problems with ovarian cancer is that the tumor cells become resistant to the drugs used in the treatment. And that means that the cells continue to grow and divide, even in the presence of the drug. So the breakthrough research conducted at University of Kansas Medical Center mm -hmm. uh, shows that by adding the botanicals, the plant extracts, to the chemo treatment, there is a synergistic effect resulting in much greater killing of cancer cells and indeed a reversal of the drug resistance of those cancer cells. And, uh, what are, and you have shown that this works in the lab? That's right. It's called preclinical research. The first phase is in cells and the second is in animals. And we've gotten through both of those phases with uh, spectacular results. And you're waiting for funding and awareness to get uh, a human trial, right? Yes, absolutely. We would like to create more awareness and get more funding because this is spectacular results, just as said Dr. Hall, and really, uh, Ovarian cancer is deadly, and therefore it's really critically important to get more funding. And uh, considering that the, those results are so uh, promising, it's really important to try those uh, botanicals at the next step. Tell me more about these miracle botanical extracts that could uh, be useful in combating ovarian cancer. Well, they were discovered by Mirko Beljansky, Sylvie's father, yes. who was a scientist at the Pasteur Institute in Paris, France, for many years. And uh, he had his own ideas about how cancer gets started and about what to do about it. And in the course of his research, he discovered these natural products that have anti-cancer effects. Uh, one is from the bark of a tree that grows in the Amazon rainforest and the other from a shrub that grows in West Africa. And do you think it might be useful in treating other cancers or is it specifically for ovarian cancer? Actually, we have already at the foundation uh, funded uh, additional research at Columbia University on prostate cancer cells. And we also have had a clinical trial at Cancer Treatment Centers of America for little fragments of RNA, which are specific of the DNA of the bone marrow and help create white blood cells and platelets. And most importantly, I think for the patient, is it more comfortable then if it's less chemo and you know another alternative approach? Well, you've hit a, 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 that's a very important point. Ultimately, the idea is if you are mixing in an effective botanical extract, which has no negative side effects, you may be able, ultimately, the oncologist could reduce the chemotherapy okay. dose and thereby alleviate some of the negative side effects. And make everything more comfortable for the patients. Indeed. Okay. But more research needs to be done yes. for that, and it's a very long way okay. still. Thank you so much for joining us and shedding light on this.